what is going on guys it's about that time of year it's about time for these furnaces to start firing up and you know what old shannon likes his chinese tools his chinese manometer time again and we're going to check the accuracy on this thing and what is the most accurate manometer there is that would be an old water manometer and you say well shannon i don't have a water manometer how can i verify my digital manometer's accuracy oh look what we have here on the radon mitigation system we have an old timey manometer because all these radon mitigation systems have to have a way of showing that they're running and working all the time because they drill down into the foundation below the concrete pad down into the aggregate underneath there and then the fan that's mounted on this thing on the outside of the house is constantly pulling a vacuum on this line and that's what's pulling that radon out of the ground and getting it out of the house and keeping you from having cancer because if I'm not mistaken I believe radon is the second leading cause of cancer in America just behind smoking so everybody should always have their house tested just to make sure when you live in an area like I do over in the you know like Tennessee Virginia Kentucky the eastern area where the ground is really rocky they pretty much guarantee every house is going to have radon in it now is it above that number where you have to have mitigation done no only testing will tell that but if you are above that number you have to mitigate with something like this and this manometer is showing you that that fan is pulling a vacuum so look what happens if we pull this little tube out of here we can watch those go back to zero so we know that our manometer is calibrated to zero so we know we're good there so when we put that back in there that's going to pull her back up we're going to let that settle back out there for a minute and then we're going to take our good old chinese digital manometer and stick it on there now i keep this little small tubing on there but that's a little too big to go down in that thing so what i have done i have stolen my tubing off of my furnace here don't worry i'm going to put it back so i just took it off of my inducer here going over to my pressure switch and that's a little larger diameter tubing so that's going to allow me to stick my little small piece of tubing in one end and get a seal right there and i am on the negative side the right side is the positive and this is the negative and we want a negative because we're pulling a vacuum whenever we're testing gas pressure on the valve we want to be on the positive side because we're pushing out that's positive pressure coming off the gas valve but this is actually pulling a vacuum and now that that has settled out man i hope we can zoom in on that it's just below three so it's it's probably just about 2.9 hard for the camera to focus in on that I don't know if I can get some light to make it better but anyway we're just a smidge below two so if I pull this little tube out of there then I'm going to hook my tube up to that tube and then I'm going to be taking that vacuum there so if I can get that in there one-handed, probably not. Okay, there we go. So I've got it down in there, it's sealed. Now we're gonna be reading the vacuum inside of there and let's see what we got. Oh, guys, look at that. You couldn't make this up if you tried. You talk about accuracy, look at that. We were sitting at about 2.9, and 
and right there is 2.9. Now don't tell me Chinese tools are not accurate. I have an old yellow jacket analog manometer in the plastic yellow case, one of the old ones from back in the day. It reads the same thing as this does. And then I have another digital manometer and it also reads the same as this does. But right there is the proof, guys. 2.9. And that's exactly what this thing was reading. So, I don't know about you, but I would call that a very high level of accuracy. So, you can trust the good old Chinese manometer. And it's got a super good backlight on there also. It has the record function. You've got hold, differential, all your different units of measurement. So, this is one heck of a good little tool there. You can pick those things up for 30 bucks. You don't need the one that's just like this that says Sipco on it. You're going to pay 80 or 90 bucks for that. You can get that unbranded version right there on eBay or Amazon. I'll try to put some links down below here, but that was definitely accurate in my ballpark. I don't know about you, but I would call that accurate. So I'm going to put my little tube back in there. You can see it's climbed back up and right there we are back at that 2.9. And that's exactly what we had down there. And then I'm going to put my little black tube back on my furnace here. I better go ahead and show it on camera or somebody's going to say, man, he didn't put that back. He left that off there. Now their furnace ain't going to work. So we're going back over here to the back side of the pressure switch. So now I'm back. My furnace is going to work. And if you guys want to get you one of these, head on over to eBay or somewhere. Maybe you know some little man in China that can send one right over to you. All right, you guys. That is it for this one. As always, I appreciate you watching. Leave me a comment below. Like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time.